Some dogs rescued from a home in Arkansas are now looking for a good home in the metro area. Today we got a close look at these cute little pups and Hatzelvela explains how you can add one to your family. On this rescue, I found this little guy, or I should say he found me. A new friend for Perry Stone. I was sitting in a chair, he jumped up on my lap, and he looked like a Charlie to me, so I named him Charlie. Charlie, one of about 50 dogs rescued from a large property in Arkansas. <laughs> this Humane Society video shows the animals being removed from what officials described as a place of filth where the dogs lacked basic care. The woman who owns the property where these dogs were found was arrested and charged with one count of animal cruelty. More charges are pending. Stone drives a truck which carries the pups to safety. Usually, his old buddy Duke was at his side. But Duke, another rescue dog, died last Christmas. He traveled all over the country with me. He lived in the motels with me, and when I went home, he stayed with me. So Charlie will be taking Duke's job. He sits up in the console between the, the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Call him lead dog rescuer. For the next few years, Charlie will be the rig dog, my buddy. The hope is that the rest of Charlie's buddies will be able to find a home. Oh, she's Such beautiful. Such a sweetheart. Yeah. The ready to adopt animals are headed to places like Arlington's Lost Dog and Cat Rescue Foundation. We're going to take a couple of nursing moms and then some uh, adult dogs. Others will end up at DC's Animal Rescue League and agencies in other nearby counties. Some that are a little bit shyer may take a tiny bit longer, but um, I think they're going to be in their forever homes really soon. So we're so happy to be able to help. So now they're hoping you can help by adopting one of these needy friends. In Gaithersburg, Hatzelvella, ABC 7 News. Oh, how can you pass up those little faces? For more information on how you can adopt one of these adorable dogs or just see more pictures, head over to WJLA.com.